Hello, fellow potatoes. I am Potato Smarts, and I have a little different kind of video today. Yes, yes, it's very different. So, I have a redstone video. This is a sugarcane farm that I built and designed myself. It took me it took me so many designs to finally get this one. It has no repeaters, no comparators, no sticky pistons, just redstone torches, redstone. That's it. That's all you need for this design. So yeah, let's see how this thing works. All right, so basically how this works is when a piece of sugarcane grows, this is a redstone torch burnout clock, meaning that this redstone torch powers this block up here, which powers this redstone, which powers this block, which unpowers the redstone torch, which unpowers, and then it keeps cycling through really fast. Uh, when you update it, then it will cycle through everything, and the sugarcane will be harvested and drop to the bottom. This is almost a lossless farm. So if we just make a collection system down here, I'm going to do that right now, then we can see how many drops this gets. I made a little collection system over here. So I'm going to show you how to build this thing, and we'll see how many drops we get while I show you how. All right, so I'm going to show you how to build this thing from the bottom up. Let's get started. So you want to place a dirt on the end, and then, uh, so this is where your water's going to go, right here. It's going to be like a little container like this, you're just going to have water in it. So then you got to go one, two, 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 and you can honestly bring this out as long as you want, like this long, that, <laughs> I'm going to make it this long, and then one at the end also. Then you want to place in glass at the front blocks in the back and water in the middle so then all the sugar cane on the pieces of dirt will have a piece of water next to it and yeah sh sugar cane need to have water next to it for them to grow and this is i think the most efficient way that we can do this next you want to build these pillars two more high until they look just like this and put redstone torches on the front of them with redstone dust on the top Next, you want to make a line of blocks all the way down to the last redstone torch burnout clock. Now you just need to place in your pistons. You want to place them right here and on this layer all of the way down the row. Believe it or not, that is literally it. Plant your sugar cane on the dirt and you have a working farm. That's, that's all you need to do for this farm. Maybe build up the glass so that uh, your collection, it doesn't just go flying out of your collection. I'm just gonna place some glass on the front and then this thing will be done. All right, and that is literally it for the farm. You can build a collection system at the bottom, but that that's done. Your farm is finished. If you would like to, you can add extra layers. I'm going to, uh, get some uh, command magic and <laughs> add some more layers to this thing. All right, now with my commands, I made it just as tall as that other one. And it works great. <laughs> this thing is huge and it actually wouldn't take hours upon hours to build it in survival mode. This is definitely doable, pr definitely because it has no repeaters, no comparators, no observers. It's literally just torches and redstone. You just need to go down mining for a bit and also grab some pistons and this thing will be completed. All right, I spent about a minute and a half on that tutorial. I wonder if we actually got anything from this farm. We got one sugarcane. This is much this is much uh more this is much more efficient than that. Uh yeah, I think it's just cuz I just planted the sugarcane. Maybe that's it. I, I believe that is why, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you use this design in like your, your survival worlds or whatever, then yeah, you, it's good, good luck. It's really easy to make. That's, that's why, that's why I designed it. It's, it's easy to make in survival mode. It's awesome. It's huge. It looks cool. I, I, I highly recommend this. If you have a survival world, build this. I, I'm gonna do it on the Metro SMP server sometime soon. I'm not sure when. Oh, look, the left one just harvested some sugarcane. 
But yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.